Hey everybody, today I just wanted to talk to you really briefly about stash busting. Now if you are anything like me, you have more yarn than you could probably ever crochet with or you have a lot of leftover scraps and you just don't know what to do with them. So I just wanted to show you my current scrap blanket that I'm working on. Now it has got all sorts of yarn in here. I've got sparkly yarn, I've got some sequin yarn. I am just throwing some more sparkly yarn. Any yarns I have, just throwing them all together in this blanket. Now this blanket is A, huge, and B, really quick to work up. So if you too have a lot of leftover yarn, then what I advise is get a big old hook. Now I'm using a nine millimeter crochet hook. It's not focusing. Trust me, it's a nine millimeter crochet hook. <laughs> and I am using three strands of yarn at the same time. Now you can use more than three strands of yarn if you've got a lot you want to work up. Just bear in mind, after a while, it does get quite heavy. So I found three strands is perfect for being snuggly, not too overwhelmingly heavy. And a nine mil hook works quite well for me, but you can use whatever hook size you like and however many strands of yarn you'd like. Now, the beauty of this is you can see these are all going to run out at different points. I've only got a bit of this left. I've got quite a bit of these two other yarns. I join in my next colour. When one strand runs out, I join it in with a magic knot. Now, I've got a video on how to do the magic knot in my description box down below. I've linked to that one there. But the quickest, easiest way to use up your stash multiple strands of yarn at the same time held together worked as one now the reason i wanted to do this video less about the actual blanket this blanket itself is just half double crochet stitches that's all there is to it and again i've linked to the half double crochet stitch video if you need to see that one in the description box below as well but i wanted to share my tip for working with multiple strands. So let me just chain one and turn my work. Now this blanket is massive. I'm not even sure I'm gonna be able to turn it properly. But you want to maintain tension on your multiple strands and then treat them as one. Now hopefully you can see the three different colors I've got here. I'm aware I've got a red and a pink. I probably should have done this earlier when I just had completely contrasting shades but work with them as if they are one. However, keep an eye to make sure you're always working with the three strands and not accidentally. So I'm holding onto them pretty tightly here. You wanna make sure you've always got three strands and you're not leaving one behind because it is very, very easy to accidentally start crocheting with two. After a while, it becomes second nature to just pay attention to make sure you've got all three. This is why the half double crochet stitch is great as well. It's really stretchy and very forgiving. But it's just a case of hold them together as if they are one. Now if I do one more stitch and try and miss one of these loops. So as I come through, I'm used to seeing these three colours together. If I were to just leave that white one behind, for instance, you notice pretty quickly on your hook that you have skipped that stitch and it will just look slightly different. And it's at this point you'll go, oh, hold on, this one looks a bit thinner. So just pay attention to make sure that you are not leaving a strand behind. And after a while, it's just second nature. Also, you may have noticed then, just be careful that you don't catch them as you come through too. So you can see it's catching them there, but that's fine. Oops, finish off the stitch. <laughs> Keep going. So that's all, just a super quick video for you. I just wanted to give you a heads up for if you have got a multitude of yarns and you just don't know what to do with them. The half double crochet stitch, 
multiple strands at the same time just change color whenever so ugly scrap blankets which often are not they're not ugly at all i mean <laughs> this started off fairly ugly to be fair it wasn't you know the greatest but i love scrap blankets i honestly think they are my favorite thing to make you never know how they're going to turn out they always just look super snuggly and they're the type of blanket that you can make a fort with, you can drag outside into the garden, you can use as a rug, you can throw it around, let the dog have it. It doesn't matter because these sorts of blankets that you've just randomly made up of scraps, you seem to be less precious about and you are more happy to chuck this in the washing machine and then let the kids play with it. Or I don't know why I'm saying kids, I don't even have kids, my kid's 19. <laughs> she doesn't make blanket forts anymore. I'm the only one who does that. <laughs> But these blankets are great. They use up a ton of yarn. You're less precious about them, so you're more happy for them to actually be used. And yeah, I think we should all make more great big, squishy, scrap, ugly blankets in our lives. So I will see you on my channel very soon for a proper crochet tutorial. <laughs> but until then, happy stash busting. Bye.